Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, we're gonna try out the disc here. This is the first pass with it. And we'll see if we have to do some leveling on it or what. But I'm gonna jump into side by side and run up there. pretty good doesn't seem to have he's not going very deep like uh, on the plowing or something we usually go deeper but here you don't have to go that deep seems to be working out pretty well all this piece draw and the harrows are doing not bad breaking up some of these clods this is what uh, you know you got there and that's that's that uh, it still breaks apart so it's not that bad for moisture it, it's a lot drier than I expected. Like I said, it's working up this piece drop pretty good. Oh, a, little bit, a little bit dirty on my screen. One second. There. Anyway. So this is what we're trying to work under is all this piece straw. This is a real bitch when it uh, gets caught in the air seeder. And, uh, you don't want it to ball up in the air seeder. Uh, you can see it here. can't harrow this because all it does is ball up and leave a bunch of lumps all over the field when the harrows let it go. So, uh, barley straw, wheat straw, canola you can harrow but pea straw doesn't usually work. Thing is we put the cows in here last uh, fall after it was combine. We just put up an electric fence and we let the cows in here because there was still some peas on the ground that we couldn't uh, get because it was pretty flat after the snow. And we let the cows in here and I think they ate quite a few of them. They probably ate some of the straw too. This is the pea stalks and that. This is what is this is what is the worst. That didn't go through the chopper. But it's really breaking up now. So the disc is burying it pretty good. And uh, there's about 60 acres here. Disc up. Then the rest is uh, barley stubble here. This is where I tried the peas, so so there'll be over triple the acres of peas now. So gonna see peas because canola ain't worth anything anymore. Uh, I don't expect anything to happen with canola until maybe the election in the fall to get a new prime minister. China hates our prime minister, so I don't expect anything much to be going on until fall maybe anyway yeah it's working good uh, 
I think the harrows could use some adjustment too yet but uh, this will work fine for now I don't know if I'll run over uh, if I'll run over this with the heavy harrows I might just leave it but I might when I get the heavy harrows here uh, it's a lot drier than I expected this use this draw here is usually really wet and I was here last night with the other with the 7120 and the other disc and uh, I was surprised I went right through it so yeah uh, this fall if we get a good harvest and we're early or like we're supposed to be <laughs> and uh, usually we start harvesting usually late August and in September but for the past few years we've been harvesting in October and uh, last year we, had, we ended up finishing harvest in uh, well we didn't technically finish we still got 60 acres of canola to combine uh, we'll probably do that Friday and uh, uh, it snowed right after that so and it was freezing so there was no no field work could be done and it was kind of wet at that time too so hate work in the fields wet so this ground if you work it wet it uh, turns really bad the next the next year all you'll have is a bunch of lumps like this dry lumps this is what happens when you work it wet the just the soil just turns to this or like this stuff breaks apart but if you work it this land too wet it stays like that just a bunch of lumps and you don't get any seed to soil contact but uh, some of our other land is, is it's, all, land is all different around here. You go up on the hill, it's different. You go down here, it's different. You go over there, it's different. It's different all over. So, anyway, I was getting to this land is going to get all manure this fall. If we uh, get the crops off pretty early and stuff, which I think we will. So we got that, like I said, we got that big manure pile to spread. There's one in behind. There's one over there that's never been spread. I spread, oops, I spread quite a bit of that pile one year, four years ago, four or five years ago. I did it by myself. I think it was up to that red bucket there and I spread all the way. Now it's a whole bunch more there. So be a lot of manure here. I uh, had spread all that manure over there and you can always tell where that manure is, where I spread it. Because uh, I think the second year I had wheat there, it was all lodged. <laughs> and uh, uh, you can tell from the canola, you can just tell the difference in the soil too when you're working it. So you can see somebody's burning some stubble, straw. We were gonna burn maybe, burn these peas off, but we decided not to. Sean. Sean's working it. We don't have that much fuel in that tractor right now. I'll have to go get some. Just wanted to try the disc out though. like we might get some rain showers you can see up on the hill there the leaves are starting to change or come out not change so as soon as the leaves come out that means it's planting time Sean I'm in the tractor with Sean now making a few passes with him it's not cloudy now. Stagger seems to be running all right now. We've got the new air filter in there. The only thing is, is uh, I don't like that temperature. It should be, uh, it should be uh, higher than that. I'm hoping it's either the thermostat stuck open or the sender is not working right.
But yeah, we're pulling the disc. And it seems like the tractor has no problem whatsoever. This is 34 feet. problem though that one wheel there is not turning and it's hitting the uh, it's hitting the flex gang there and I what I found is the uh, wheel axle is a tad bit bent and so I'm gonna have to uh, try and straighten that because the tire will wear out so as soon as we go back here for fuel in a bit we're gonna look at that. Other than that, the disc seems to be working pretty good. Right, Sean? It's not leaving any uh, ridges too much. No disc is perfect to not leave ridges, but this one seems to be doing all right. So yeah. He's just gonna make a couple more passes and then we're gonna go for fuel. And then uh, see what I can do with that. It's not really the axle, it's the, the arms that are welded to the axle. You know what I mean? They seem to be bent. I don't know how in the world you bend that. But other than that, it seems to be fine. There's no rocks here. Well, actually, there is rocks here. There's the odd rock that seems to rear its head in this field, especially over there. But uh, it's, this is not what I would consider a rocky field. But uh, we did pick a few out of here a few years ago after we uh, this was in alfalfa. And uh, the plow brought a few rocks up. But we picked, they were fair size rocks too. So yeah, no, the dirt uh, is looking pretty good, ready for wheat. So I'm going to head back. That's the 3950 Cushion Gang Case IH disc. So hope you liked the video. Leave your comments down below and we'll talk to you all later.